Okay. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back um, to the homework video. Um, you may see two of these this week. I'm not quite sure. Uh, myself and Lisa may have done separate videos. We'll see. Um, okay, so this week we have with us Vic Gable from Stitch and Button on FlossTube and Vicki Hartwell, uh, headmistress of School of Magical Stitches and reading and stitching here on FlossTube, and then me, Sammy Gay Stitches. Um, I forgot to tell you all the order. So whoever reads, and then it'll go me, Vicki, Vic, like that. So Vicki, Vic will always answer after Vicki. Okay? I forgot to go through that before. I do I'm changing my name. <laughs> Um, I do want to put a slight PSA out there that we do not all join all the groups. Now, while I have all of us answer like we are in the group, that may not be the case. So when we, we get a lot of questions about how we all stay organized with that many groups, and that not everybody does that. <laughs> so I just wanted to make that clear. But then we all answer on the fly because that's because we're trying to show you kind of how we brainstorm what we're going to do that week. So it, it comes out pretty authentic, I think, that way. So this week we're going to go over Magical Stitches, um, Daily 30, Crystal Academy, Enchanted Stitches, and semi Uh And then I will have an add-in at the end, so like we did last time I was did one. All right, uh, Vicki, you want to go ahead and read Magical yes. Stitches? Okay, so this week is kind of a different type of prompt than what we've ever done before. So um, we figured out why the Odd Sisters were collecting the teacups because they have a teacup spill. So this week you must pick uh, one, you must pick three different spells you wanna cast. And then that's 200 stitches each to match, your whip has to match that. And then your, the fourth one is 400 stitches and you have to cast the spell and you have to tell us if it works. And you have to, you can, you're gonna pick any Disney character you want. So your options are drink from the cup and learn their secrets, break the cup and they will be broken beyond repair, fill the cup with water and the eye of an egg and you will see them, fill the cup with what frightens them the most to give them nightmares Bury the cup in the cemetery dirt to suffocate them. It's kind of vicious there. Fill the cup with their blood, ew, mingled with your, mingled with yours to own control, to control them. Throw the cup in the fire to send them to Hades and toss it in the sea to give their soul to the sea witch. So, do you guys mm. want me to do mine first so you get an idea of what I'm talking about here? Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually going to double dip mine. Um, I'm going to be one of my first characters. I don't like this character. My favorite movie is Cinderella. So I'm my the character I'm going to pick is Lady Tremaine. And I'm going to do the spell where I toss it into the sea and give, their, give her soul to the sea witch. So I'm going to do 200 stitches on that because there is a sea there. Okay, I'm going to continue on with what I'm going to do. Okay, um, and then I need to, I've got to work on this, something with a, so I will probably do the fire one. What was the fire one? Um, maybe Cruella, toss Cruella in the fire right here, because there's a fire. And then I'm going to use it all on this one because I'm going to, you're going to see me use this later on. And then, um, Let's see, what can I choose this from? I will probably drink from the cup because they're having a drink. And that way I can know all of their secrets and I wanna do that for Maleficent. I wanna know all Maleficent secrets. So that's what I'm gonna do. Very simple. And then I'll figure out which one I really wanna to toss the spell at. All right. Uh, I was busy sewing most of the day, so I didn't decide. I just read what it was. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really decide on what I wanted to do. But there's possibilities. I can give the possibilities. Uh, as far as toss into the sea, for to give it to the sea witch, I have the under the sea uh, sail. The, it's not a mermaid sail. 
The and Dark Queen. Went, the Dark, the dark queen. queen cell, yeah. So yeah. the Dark Queen of the Sea, I figured that would work for that. Mm -hmm. And as far as uh, fill the cup up with water and eye of an egg, I have Aqua City started, which is a, it's a heaven and earth design. I thought I had it here. And it's a big under the ocean scene. So it's got water and there's a lot of fish and sea creatures under there. So I'm sure there's some eggs hidden among the coral. So that would be water mm -hmm. and, and eggs. And then for the fire, I could do fire because I have uh, Skazi, Queen of the uh, Goddess of the North, which is also. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, it's a charting creations, but it's got fire. And okay, so. that's a good one. Now, you don't I have haven't to decided do... on my cra oh, character ahead. yet. All right. Because I sort of like the meanies. Is that bad? No. <laughs> you don't have to do them all on whip. See, Vic's done hers on several, and I'm doing mine on one because I'm going to like, triple yeah. dip this thing this week. I mean, I probably could find one to fit more than one, but... This is, like I said, I hadn't really looked at all the ones I, I, when I choose mine, I choose it based on what the prompt is. Plus if I feel like stitching on it. There you go. So whatever's calling my name. All right, Sammy. What I would, I, I like to think of it as organic. Like you're seeing the thought process live because if, if we don't prep it, we keep prep because, you know, she wrote it, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't remember it because I, I, to be honest, I wrote this last night. Um, we had texted. You said you were going to be, you were driving home. Mm -hmm. And I wrote this, I think about two o'clock in the morning. And then I fell asleep in my chair because I do that a lot. And then I woke up and about one o'clock I went, oh, I got to go finish that. <laughs> so oh. um, I'm, 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 I'm want to do something a little different because this one's a little more complicated in the fact that we can choose kind of which of the spells we want to do so i'm gonna i'm gonna give my three but then i'd like to go through each one individually and kind of bounce off ideas of what you think can represent it to help people out a little that bit sounds fun. Okay. so um i have thrown my rotation out the window i'm only working on scavenger hunt pieces until my life finds some semblance of normal again <laughs> so 2032 <laughs> Um, where's my share button? Where to go? Where to go? More share. Oh, no. it's because I like. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to do all three on Anzac. Um, so several places in here you can see like representation of water. So I can do the water prompt. Um, there was also one about digging in the dirt, and this is land here so I could dig in that dirt um there is fire here but the one I wanted to touch on was the what would say something about nightmares yeah you bury them in the cemetery oh, okay so that's the same one but um spiders are my nightmare like oh, I can't stand a spider can't stand a spider and this one has one on it so that was somewhere I went with that so water fire nightmare those are my three so i'm gonna stop sharing that um There's okay we just want to go fly in here now of course uh oh that was my alarm <laughs> okay can you read read one spell and let us each kind of like give our ideas for it yeah let me turn off my alarm so i don't right so it doesn't go off like every five minutes Okay, um, the first one was drink from the cup. So having a cup on it. You have, I yeah. have um, my Alice in Wonderland that I was working on not too long ago. It's here. It's got a cup and a tea, teapot. That would work. That would work. I have um, my Advent animals. They have the polar bears holding a mug. Mm -hmm. So anything like you can drink out of, I mean, even like a base, it can hold yeah. water. You can drink out of it so it works a can like yeah, with can. something that's showing a soda can or a beer can or whatever yeah 99 bottles would work for that from ink circles that would be a great one yeah okay what's the next one 
break the cup and they will be broken beyond repair. So something broken, maybe something you could break. I would say it could be something you could break. Oh, so like if it had a glass or a mirror or something in there, it, it could, mm -hmm. you could break that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can break. Well, technically, if you think about it, if it's got body parts in there, you can break bones by accident. Nobody wants to, but it happens. Yeah. You could. Windows. Okay. The next one is fill the cup with water and the eye of an egg. And you will see them. What is the eye of an egg? Is that like the yolk? Maybe. I'm going to Google it right fast. Eye of an eye egg. Eye of an egg. That's so weird. But yeah. sorry, it represents water in that one. I mean, if you have a breakfast, <laughs> something with somebody's dinner or breakfast, you could say there's eggs in your drink there. Or Well, and anything Easter related probably has an egg on oh, it. Oh, it's that white stringy thing in the egg. You know when you crack a fresh egg and it's got that stringy Oh, it's like the thing? umbilical cord so yeah, type that. thing. Oh, Ew, really? no. I don't, I don't need to have eggs for a couple of days. We're good. Anyway, <laughs> but <laughs> the, the ocean idea still, because fish lay eggs in the ocean, it's got water. Mm -hmm. There's assumptions to be made there. Um, or what about things that lay eggs like birds? Yeah, because you'd Ducks. have to get an egg. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to, while y'all guys are talking, I'm going to tell you the next one. Um, the puppy's being very quiet over there. And when the puppy is quiet, that means he's eating something. Today was a Sharpie. Okay. So the next one was fill the cup with what frightens them the most to give them nightmares. Sammy would have a cup of spiders. Oh, please, no. No. Spiders. Um, really, anything that represents a nightmare to you. Because, like, like if some people don't like to fire being caught on fire electric mm -hmm. lightning yeah there's a couple of things that go that way uh I'm, some people are afraid of it, the dark you know because you can't see what's going on i totally get it yeah so hey. i think the key there is just kind of like it's all about it kind of explaining your thought process mm -hmm. um if if you know you choose a house because oh i could get electrocuted or I think I'm the Wicked Witch and the house might fall on me, you know. On <laughs> houses. Your nightmare. Did you look at me when you said that? I think you looked at me when you I said that. I think, sure I no, you looked to the side when you said that. <laughs> I would be having a big old cup of snakes. <sighs> okay. <And> snakes. <laughs> Bury the cup in the cemetery dirt to suffocate them. So I guess it would be any cemetery scene or anything with dirt. Yeah, and I bet some of the are right, good right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, this one's gross, and I'm not really sure how, but y'all figure this one out. Fill the cup with their blood mingled with your own to control them. If you're doing a vampire piece. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that would be good. I didn't think about that. Or do you yeah, have I mean, one that was real popular for a little while that was like stabby, 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 and the knife blood on it? Oh, Yeah. Or, or even like a Lizzie but Borden type thing. I'm also thinking you could also have two people there mm -hmm. because it would. Oh, be... you could like blood sister thing. Cut your thumb. Yeah. And your blood sister thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, humans have blood in them, so I mean. This is true. That's so what animals. Thinking. Yeah. Um. Okay. The next one is throw the cup in the fire to send them to Hades. So fire. Fire. Yeah, oh, maybe you have the devil. Maybe you're stitching the devil too. Could be. I was. I was. I was stitching Hades the other night in my whip. So yeah. Yeah. His hair, his I was, hair wasn't my, out. Yeah, no, his hair was. Even his <laughs> hair was out. It, it was blue. Oh. Okay. So the next one is toss it into the sea. So that that one's an easy one. Self-explanatory. Yeah. Water. Water. Sea creatures, mermaids. Mm -hmm. Any of that sort of thing. Dolphins. Yeah. Any type of sea animal. Okay. All right. So that is it for Magical Stitches this week. Um, I know that it's one of those that sounds like super complicated, but I'm hoping that we showed you that it, it's not super complicated. It's just... No, just to recap though, at the end, the 400 stitches, basically you're going to choose one of those that you did the initial 200 on and you're going to do 400 on that right. and say why you chose that one. Yep. 
Yeah, that okay. works. Yeah. Um, I posted a couple of examples and people had some questions. So in a couple of the chats, I posted some examples because, you know, they they were made, they were all going to do penalty stitches. And I'm like, why? You can work on anything you want. I don't understand. Yeah. But you know what? When I first read it, too, I did get a, it took me a minute. I I don't mind rereading and rereading and then asking a question, but I usually will try to figure it out myself. And after I I had to read it a couple of times, I was like, oh, OK, it clicks. Yeah. Maybe because it was just so much information at once. Maybe. That's what I find. Um, a lot of the times when we get the most questions about how does this week work, it's just because there's so much to read that even if you do like slowly read through it, your brain gets a little overwhelmed. You've got to break it down to let's just grab these one, two, three. Well, and heaven forbid you give them more than one option. Because <laughs> yeah. then they're like, oh. <laughs> well, and I, feel I, mean, like I always like more than options. Um, people come to challenge groups is because you're giving them like a focus. So then the one week you're like, do whatever you want. Everybody's like, ah, no, you need to give me specifics. Tell me why I stitch because trust me, I'm the same way. What do you mean? I can't stitch that. <laughs> I need okay. to be told what to do. The next group we're going to talk about is cross stitchers, journal and daily therapy. This is a closed group. Um, so we can't get anybody in or anything like that. Now, I would like to say, if you're interested in this group, go ahead and leave a comment down below because usually when she does open it up, it's kind of word of mouth. So if we, know <coughs> we might be able to let you know, but it's a closed group. Don't ask her all to get in. Blah, blah. Um, the reason we talk about it is so that we can show you, again, our process on how we decide uh, which groups we're going to work on, but also is to show how things double dip across groups, how you can use just one whip and get through all these different scenarios. All right, this week is fall holiday week. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I've been a little out of the loop the last few days, I'll be honest. All right. So over the next two weeks, there are some very set special celebrations on the calendar. Let's look into these holidays and get some work done on our whips in the process. Number one, October 17th is Sweetest Day. In 1922, Herbert Birch Kingston, an Ohio philanthropist and candy company employee, founded this day to bring happiness to orphans, shut-ins, and other underprivileged. His intent was to show these people that they were not forgotten by distributing candy and small gifts to people in need. Work on a piece that has something in the design that would make a great sweetest day gift. Vicki? Oh, I go first? Okay. I'm going to work on my first Christmas because, come on, look, there's cake and there's a candy cane. So, come on, that's sweet. I'm looking. I have to get um, inventive. I have some of the Prairie Schooler Santas and sometimes they're holding a candy cane. So I'd probably do that. Or um, I know I have that one from Threadwork. Uh, Does Alice have anything sweet in it? Is there, <coughs> are they holding tea or anything that could have sugar? Oh, that's true. She has tea. So yeah, you could put extra sugar in that one lump or two, mm -hmm. you know. Or Santa Claus is Santa Claus because he, I don't know, sometimes they're carrying gifts too. Okay, so <laughs> what are you thinking? Well, I was trying to remember what my three scavenger projects were. Alice in a Dolly <laughs> Dreams, Legendary Creatures. Okay. I remember the third one. Anzac. Anzac. <laughs> um, okay. So I don't really feel like any of those fit a whole lot. Although, okay, you want to talk about stretching an idea. Let's see, let me show my screen. I have this little leprechaun. And do you remember the little gold coins that have the chocolate in them? Yes. That, I see <laughs> that. All of those Definitely. Coins. He also has lucky charms. So he gives the lucky charm cereal, dude. <laughs> yes. You so, can say he's bringing a cereal. So I have that one. Um, the other one I thought about was Autumn by the Cricket Collection because it has apples and you could say candied apples. Mm, yeah. Chocolate apples. Mm. Apples dipped in chocolate? Hmm. I have, have Let's Do Coffee and I, can, I could do that. 
Put extra well, if I wanted to double dip with this one, um, there are strawberries up here. Yes. I could double dip. Oh, and I'm doing the baker's wife. She's holding a cupcake. Oh, oh yes. Oh, look, you even called her by her, her right name. <laughs> October 31st is Halloween. Between 1920 and 1950, the centuries-old practice of trick-or-treating really started gaining popularity. It was a relatively inexpensive way for an entire community to share the Halloween spirit by providing the neighborhood children with small treats. I'm not so sure it's inexpensive these days, just saying. Put stitches <laughs> in a whip that has something in the design which you could carry your candy haul. Vicki? She's looking. My candy haul. Carry your candy haul. Uh, can I carry my candy haul in a cauldron? Sure. Sure. Can I have, uh, once it's off the fire, can I have a small cauldron and carry that? <laughs> um, I know that at the store they sell the little small oh, plastic ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking, carrying my candy in a cauldron. I was thinking about matching the ho holiday with the project too. I have Halloween delivery and there's a carriage and that's how much candy I want to be able to haul is to fill the carriage. <laughs> That's okay. I was I was thinking of the the pot of gold, um, or I have um, this. Where'd it go? It's not gonna load. I think. I hope my internet's not going out. Oh, that would be bad. That would be very inconvenient. Right. Okay. Anyways, it uh, January wordplay has a wagon on it. You know, carry that wagon. Just and if you something a little bit off kilter too if you don't have something that specifically has a box you know something i have space traveler which is a tardis and the mm -hmm. tardis could carry your stuff away um i have vader from stitch area which well it's, it used to be stitch line stitch area there's x-wing fighters it could fly my candy away yeah I have george it could be in a big boat or even simple, oh, something as simple as like my snowman has a hat you could Carry your candy in your hat. Dude, you could turn the umbrella upside down. There you go. Have an umbrella. Be creative. All right. November 1st is All Saints Day. This holiday honors and recognizes all of the saints of the Christian church, many of which were martyrs. The church sets this day aside to celebrate over 10,000 recognized saints. Stitch on a piece that you can tie to the word saint. This one seems a little more difficult to me. To the word saint. Was Santa Claus called Saint Nicholas? Yes. Yes. So Santa. Anything Santa would work. Mm -hmm. I would stitch a picture of Sammy because she is definitely truly a saint. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. I know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't have any, I, I don't have anything religious to, to point towards, um. Well, but like, um. Oh, although I have Pilgrims of Plymouth. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering. I would think any sort of building where they, it could, you know. Be, uh, you can name it like St. Andrews or St. George's or. Saint well, Peter and, a lot and Paul of them, like, have the statues on them, like yeah. the type. Um, oh, there you go. Anything that has like a statue or figure standing there, right? You can say it's a mm -hmm. statue of a saint. No, you can stitch a church. Yeah, what about like a gravestone? Because Maybe I know some of them have like the angels on them and stuff. I would think so. I'm just throwing that one is a. Some are just harder to narrow down than others, that's for sure. Yeah. And if you have something with a name that happens to be, maybe you're doing something for Christopher Columbus, you could say, well, that would be St. Christopher. Mm -hmm. There's a saint called Christopher. If you have something, mm -hmm. you're doing a stocking for your nephew, Matthew. There's a St. Matthew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could look up a bunch of saint names because I bet there's a lot. Um. Now, Cheryl does not answer questions, so it's kind okay. of like, just do the prompt. I'm getting there, Vicki. 
Um, just do the prompt or don't do the prompt. But from what I understand, she actually has a question thread this week, correct? And is it pertaining particularly to this? Um, she's letting people toss out ideas. Hang on a minute, I'm gonna go there. Um, people are tossing out. Okay, there it is. Let me see what the question thread is. People are asking. She, hang on, she's got lots of exchanges going on right now. I'm trying to find the question thread. I don't see the question thread, it was there. And poof, just like that, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I don't see it. Okay. Well, and that's very typical of hers. Hers are just like, explain it, do it. I mean, no question. Mm -hmm. so. Well, and Vicki was able, again, to tie in that one piece with the two challenges where she'd need the stitches in it anyway. Right. That's how she double dipped. Right, and, and that's the thing about, sometimes it's really good, especially on a prompt where you're not quite sure if what your um, piece fits. When you double dip it, at least then, if it didn't count for this group, it did count for this group, and you didn't stitch for nothing, which we never stitch for nothing, but you know what I mean. Okay, November 1st to 2nd is Dio de los Muertos. Translated to English, this is the day of the dead. It's celebrated over two days. Instead of mourning loved ones, it's a celebration of their lives. Many people prepare feasts with the favorite dishes of the lost loved ones and display mementos. Work on a whip that reminds you of a lost loved one in some way. Okay. I um, have, oh, go ahead. I thought I was first. You are. You are, that's why I okay. said go ahead. All right, so I am going to work on, this is a free pattern, so it really doesn't matter if you see it or not, but it is free. Uh, I'm going to work on my cardinal because my granny loved cardinals. Now did you see that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just, um, I could work on priestess if I was in a group because I was working on priestess when my mom told me about her cancer that she had when she was first diagnosed and I made a mistake on it. So every time I work on it, it reminds me of her. I left the mistake in there on purpose. I not sure. And this guys is when you learn how to fudge it. And make oh. something up what, really what did your, good. what did your, what did your granny like? Well, um, I finished. She it. doesn't stitch those things. <laughs> um, I think I would probably pull out Garden Prelude because she liked the pretty ladies and the fancy dresses and stuff like that. Now, if I really wanted a piece that reminded me of her um, a lot was um, the one you're working on, Vic, the lady named Elle. Oh, um, yeah. Um because she, um, she used to sketch sketches like that. Oh, the renderings. Yeah. You're talking about, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where'd she go? Just, just whenever she was bored, she just let her hand just kind of sketch faces and dresses and. Oh yeah, and she's so pretty. She's, I know that what I have printed out for her is not everything um, because she's since updated what she's stitched but this is the one it's named lady named ella yeah Ooh, i like that one that reminds me of my mom too because of sitting in the costume shop with her that, that, that's why mm -hmm. one of the reasons i bought it <laughs> yeah i like that one yeah and you can still get it by the way yeah yeah i just you know available. um okay November 2nd is All Souls Day. Since the year 998, this holiday pays respect and remembers the soul of all friends and loved ones who have died. Upon death, it is believed that souls have not yet been cleansed of sin. Praying for souls of loved ones helps to remove the stain of 
of sin and allow the souls to enter the gates of heaven. Stitch on a whip with a gate. Bet you didn't see that one. I'm going to double dip because this has two gates. Right? Yeah. Is there a gate or is that a fence? Yeah. Fences are two gates. We'll have a gate. And if I don't get it, guess what? I use the stitches for magical stitches. Okay, babe. I don't know that I have anything that's got a gate. I'm looking. I don't know if early Americans has anything with a gate because I have like all nine of those and I'm going to put on one, but I haven't even started that one. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I have anything with a gate. And Holt's Castle. Well, I think my fence would work because there has to be a gate with the fence, right? Does that work? Yeah, I mean, technically, isn't the fence, the gate, isn't a you gate and a fence the same thing? I think it's the same. So it's standing up, I don't know, you think any of that could be a gate? Hmm. Leading up the pathway? Yeah, there should be a gate that way. Yeah. Maybe there's a gate to get into the castle. Yeah, like the, even, even. But, I mean, there's a gate and then there's called what what's called a gate entrance mm -hmm. yeah. too so i think it's or the draw act of a fence Small <laughs> bridges are gates too or gateways yeah. anyway. um okay i get to go i get i don't have questions on there's a tiny little gate right there oh my gosh <laughs> hey crew <laughs> Sometimes it's just easy. <laughs> um, okay, and then that's it for Charles this week, except for, you know, the daily 30. Um, so that's it for that one. All right, next we're going to go to Crystal Academy. Vicki, do you want to? Yeah, I'm pulling it up. We have two new spells I... this week. We've been doing field trip the last mm -hmm. Was it two weeks. I don't yeah, know. I've been looking. I kind of looked at this one today and was kind of getting an idea. Then I was like, oh, this is not going to work. I couldn't get my brain wrapped around what I needed. Okay, so we are scrying and self improvement. Oh, Lord. Ag Ag Agnostico, A G N O S C O. Sure. Okay. All right. So the first thing we have to do is work on a whip that is either a map or includes a map. Okay, Vic, you're going to go first this time? Oh, thank God. <laughs> the only thing I could think of that I have would be um, Anzac. It's basically a map of it is. Australia and New Zealand. Ooh, I, I think that that's the only one I really have going. Oh, and I also have animal magnetism, which has the whole world, the whole earth behind it. So that could be considered a map, right? Yeah. We did get a couple clarifications on this one. Or we did in my group. By the way, um, Vic is not in Crystal Academy. She's just going along for the ride. I am a Kara Kara, and Vicky is a um, Wendigo. Wendigo. Um, used to allow myself to get sucked into every last one. <laughs> mall got accepted for a map because a mall has a map in it, I guess. I don't, I, I don't yeah, know. When the... you first walk in, they usually do have a map of where all the stores are. And it says water was also accepted for a mirror, but it must be enough water to be able to see a reflection in. So like a droplet wouldn't work or a wave. You would need to be able to see. No, my calendar will not work. I checked. I was like, but it's a map of the year. No. <laughs> the night sky has been approved as a map because you can use the stars. Mm -hmm. um, a mandala has been approved as a mirror as long as all the sides are exactly the same. Okay. A space traveler would work then because it's got stars in it and nebulas, the whole nine yards going on there. 
Well, I'm wondering, because they said stars and night scene, I'm wondering if Santa's flight would work. I see stars. Because he has to bump your head. Okay, um, I would, I, to be completely honest, I'll probably work on Anzac. One, because that's what I want to work on. And two, because it double dips across things. But I will show you, I do have an actual map. So I could use this if I needed to. Um, but I think I will work on Anzac because it has land. So, okay, next. I need to pick my Anzac back up again. Oh, my turn, isn't it? I have to talk about what I'm working on. Oh. So I actually have two. I have one that I could, two that I could start. But one of them is the Middle Earth map that I have. So I'll be making that for my brother, but it's 150 something pages and I'm just not been feeling the need to do that. <laughs> Um, and another one is, uh, I have a map of Disney World that I could use across stitch Yeah. That might be fun. So probably going to see a new start in my world for this one. I would go for fun and something you actually want to stitch on. You'll probably get more stitches in. I know. Okay. Next one. A whip with a weather vane. This I don't know if I have. Um... Oh, and they said arrows. Arrows would work. Or cardinal points. Like a compass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had started Winds of Change, but I, I need to look at the picture. I don't think it's got arrows in it. Hmm. Did you I don't think I have anything with arrows. So if I have a box topper. I wonder if. Go ahead, Sammy. I'm going to see if this box topper has. Um... Okay. Um, well, my Shores of Hawker and Hollow has a compass or cardinal points or whatever. Okay. That would work. Yeah. Because I have, well, I'm working on this uh, Liberty for All piece from Dames of the Needle, and it's got an eagle on it, and I, he might be holding arrows. So I wonder if that would be able to work then. I just mm -hmm. can't remember off the top of my head. It said arrows, so. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, I <laughs> have an actual weather vane. On my year, I can't stand her. <laughs> <laughs> so this, like I said, magical stitches, Cheryl, and now triple dipping. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. The last one for this spell is a whip with a crystal ball or mirror. Hmm. I got mine ready. I know what I'm doing. Only because I'd ask, I'd ask permission on this one. I wanted to. Oh, my monkey, sure. on, my monkey on a throne. Monkey has my, one? Uh, yeah, I'll call that a mirror all day long. You can't prove it's a window. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's right. <laughs> she is, um, I've got her here. Lucy? No, no, what's yours called? Mine, mine's Gracie. Yours is Gracie. Mine is Lucy. See, doesn't that look like a mirror all day that's long? A, that's a mirror. Or is that a photo? That's a mirror. No, that's a mirror or a window. So if I was doing that prompt that day, it would be a mirror, definitely. <laughs> I kind of want to write, a, I wish we could write a prompt in Magical Stitches that actually involved a toilet. Because I, we would have the monkey on a toilet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have three different ways I can go with this. I'm not going to show you one because I happen to know that that's where Vicky's going to go with it. So, you I do? Fairy tale, maybe. I have my fairy tale lens too that has a mirror, as you know, mirror, mirror on the wall. 
And then I also have Alice, which is probably the one I'll actually work on, um, because she has this lake behind her that has a reflection. I mean, it mirrors, it mirrors the swan, so. No, you can show that one because that's not the one I'm showing. Okay. Um, so my other, my third one is Magic Study because there is a crystal ball right over here. Mm -hmm. That looks like a snow globe. I think the crystal ball's on the speaker. Either way, there's <laughs> a crystal globe-esque. <laughs> no, now I, because a lot of people in our group doesn't have um, these things. So I had to go digging and I remembered I had this chart. Um, it's a kit, it's a Russian kit. Spheres of the earth. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. So I'm going to use that and I can use, stitch this two or three times because each one has to have a different reason. And so each kin kingdom can have issues. So. Right. I'm going to do a restart on this though because I don't like the fabric I chose. Of course. Of course. Okay, now our last spell is, oh, good God, Forensic Studies, Transluso, T-R-A-N-S-U-L-O. I don't know where they get these names. Wait, that one was last time. You should be on scrying and something. All right, hang on, did I go the wrong place? Oh, I did, sorry. Okay. Oh my God. Magen turn it. M A G I N T E R U L U S. Wait, say it again. M, M A G I N T E R U L U S. Mag Magnetrolis. Magnetrolis. I got. So anyway, what do you have to do for that one? Uh, well, the definition is hilarious because this is called magic pants. <laughs> Causes an object to lose its place. So the first one is you have to stitch a whip with something, someone who could wear pants. And there was a question on whether or not pants was like the U.S. calls pants or pants like the U.K. calls pants. Um. They, call, they call your, from what I understand, it's your underwear. It's called pants. <laughs> Oh, well. Um, I'm recalling that correctly now. The people in the UK could be like, oh my gosh, she's got that so wrong and correct me, but that's okay. I mean, Santa wears pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this one I think is one of the easier ones. Yeah. So my legendary creatures, a few of these guys have pants on. Vicky. All oh, I'm going to double or triple dip with my, uh, yeah, because, yeah, that's easy. Except for the white rabbit. He's not wearing pants. He's wearing shirt because he's different. <laughs> he could wear pants. That's all it says. He could be wearing pants, but he's not. <laughs> I think that's common for bunnies, though. Come to think of it. I've never seen one with pants on. It no, probably slows down their chump. Restricts their their bounce. <laughs> doesn't have a anyway. I'm digressing. <laughs> Rabbit trail, <laughs> literally. Okay. Next one, a whip which pattern name begins with one of these letters L O S T. Lost. So the whip name or the designer? I guess it would be the whip name. Pattern name. Mm -hmm. The pattern name. Well, I have Spirit of Dragonfly. Starts with an S. That's pretty easy. Does the word the count? No. Yeah. Well, it would be T anyway, the T. But does the word the count as part of the name? Like, because I have uh, a couple that start with the word the. Um, like the priestess. Yeah. I don't know if they said anything about articles. I mean, I think you can drop the article if you need to, but if you need to use the article, I don't see why you couldn't. 
Okay. I love my articles. <laughs> um, a legendary creatures starts with L. So I could use stitching George Washington because that's what we call it. So that would be the S. I don't know if they would count that or not. But I also haven't done my whip go start. So that is Rain Queen. So I could do. No, wait, that's not lost. Wait a minute. What was I thinking? I don't know. She's no, Ross. not Rain Queen. I was thinking Snow Queen. Dang. <laughs> Damn it. This one. She's Snow Ross. Queen. <laughs> I'm lost. Wrong whip. This one. Snow Queen. Lift up. Yeah. Up. Uh there you go. Oh, there you go. I'm glad you showed it because that's not the Snow Queen I was thinking of. I was thinking the one with the with the reindeer. Oh no, not this one. No, I haven't started her yet, so she could be a good start. All right, and the last one, a whip that has a pair of something. A pair. Okay, so Alice in Wonderland. They have a pair of pants, a pair of feet. Pair of hands, pair of arms, pair of legs, okay. pair of trees. Um, my queen of the dark sea has a pair of fish. It's actually got three, but you know it's okay. Why are you kicking one out? Don't, don't, don't kick anyone out. <laughs> okay, I'm That's I'm gonna cool. double dip because my first Christmas has a pair of alphabets in each corner. Don't. Um. So. Oh, oh, I got one for you then, Vic. If you want to throw out a, don't want me to throw out a fish. Where's my shirt button? Anzac has a pair of fighting kangaroos. Yeah, they do. <laughs> There's a pair of, there are a pair of whales up there. A pair of, okay. And she has I feel better now. Yeah. <laughs> it's even got a pair of fish. <laughs> All right. That it? That's it. Except for Crystal Academy. Um, mm -hmm. and we have two weeks to complete those, but they'll release a new news calls next week. Oh, what? I got this huge fly. It, it, it like drives a bus. It sounds like it. Okay. Um, next, we have Enchanted Stitching. They are doing Hocus Pocus this month. Um, this is the final week. Task one is after returning home, the group thinks they have defeated the sisters, so they let their guard down and open the spell book. What they don't know is that by opening the book, a glowing orange light is released that shows when and where to find them. Stitch in gold, orange, or yellow floss. Are you still working on nations? Vicki, you're first this time. Isn't the um? Isn't this dark queen sound? Aren't those fishies orange? No, well they're yellow and pink. All right. Well, guess what? Guess who has not started that? So guess who needs to work on her fishies? That right. would be me. I have one fish, two fish, red fish, no blue fish. <laughs> <laughs> I could work on my uh, Native American angel. It's orange and yellow. You could. There you go. Um, I could pull out Lady of the Flag. You got some yellow in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, or gold. Um, the sisters see the glowing books light and after and fly after them, kidnapping Danny. Allison uses salt to protect herself from the witches, so Winnie dubs her a white witch. Stitch on something white, either white fabric or white floss. Okay. I would work on my Advent animals because they all require snow. And I've got two more of these little suckers to do. Three more of these little suckers to do. There you go. Oh, I got the owl to do, so that owl would be all white. You think I'd know where my stuff was? You would think. Well, I, I'll just pull this one then. Um, my great is on white fabric. This is uh, my grapes from Vermilion. One of the pillows from the Vermilion, whatever. It's on white fabric. It is on white. But I was looking for my too tight, my uh, snowmen, because they're white, right? Yeah. 
Um, yeah, if you're getting ready for Christmas stitching, they should be doing a lot of white stitches, right? Yep. Everything was snowmen, snowflakes, snow. Snow, 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 snow. <laughs> My little. <Yo>. Horn. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> I'm not stitching him on white, but he's a lot of white, so no problem there. All right. After rescuing Danny and escaping to the graveyard again, the kids find Billy the zombie, and it turns out that he's nice, but his breath smells a little bad. Stitch on something you would use to cover the smell of his bad breath. Oh. I could go back to the, oh, sorry. Going out of turn. I would go with um, Hawk Run because there's so many flowers on this thing that that would cover. All right, Bruin is destroying something, so I will be right back. I was gonna say, um, I could go with those grapes. I'd give them some grapes, maybe I'll smell grapey instead of. Right. Or if you have something with candy canes in it, because mint is good. Mm -hmm. um, so I was if you're doing. Huh? Toothbrush. <laughs> oh, crack me up. I'm actually stitching a toothbrush. That'll help with that. Yeah. Um, my autumn has, my Cricut collection has apples on it um, or anything with flowers, really. Yeah. I have a lot of stuff with flowers on it. Is um, the mate to uh, Duchess of Rouen, isn't she holding a perfume bottle? I think. Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, is it? Does Gracie have a toothbrush in her bathroom? No, it didn't show. No, it, but she does have toilet paper. So this was taken before 2020. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Number four, Winnie begins to suck Max's life force, but she's too late. It already it's already morning, and the sisters are turning to dust. Winnie is also starting to turn to stone from standing on the hollowed ground of the graveyard. Stitch on something related to stone or dust. Stone or dust. I, I could probably stitch on Hawk Run Hollow because they have brick houses and bricks have dust. So we'll go with that. Bruin, eight. We are one, one stuffed animal less. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking I could do Skazi mm. because she's on a mountain, which is stone. And then I was trying to get more inventive. I'm actually stitching the bookshelf. I can't find it right now, but the bookshelf from Little House has mm. books and books always collect dust. Yeah. Oh. If you have a uh, shelf with knickknacks, they collect dust. Mm -hmm. I was thinking uh, thine is the trick of the treat because gravestone, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gravestone. That would be good. All right. And that is all we have for enchanted stitches this week. Um, all right. Next, uh, Vic is going to tell us about a couple upcoming semi sane events. Now they start November 1st, so that gives you this week to join if these sound interesting to you. We can't go into a lot of detail because some of it is gonna release as the games go on, but we can kind of give you an idea of what we expect to see from it. Yeah, they have some examples too. So one that starts on November 1st is called Stitchagories and it reads, this is another board game with a stitchy twist by semi sane Based on the game categories, the makers of that game, hold all property, trademarks, license, etc. We just turned it into a stitchy fun. This lasts a month, but Facebook does not allow events, blah, blah, blah. We're going to keep this one a lot less admin -y. We have five categories each week and randomize a letter each week. It will be up to you to find something in your whips that fit the category. You may have to provide a description of why it fits. Make it silly, make it fun. We aren't taking questions on whether or not it fits this month. That's part of the game because sometimes they'll take questions, sometimes they won't. For each, you find stitch 250 stitches. If you can't find it, stitch 500. So basically, you get penalty stitches, which is twice the amount of stitches. 
on a whip with anything starting with the letter of the week. At the end of the week, if you've completed every category, you earn an entry. So for example, they'll give you three categories, fruit, animal, ocean things, right? And uh, well, they said they're gonna give you five, but in the example, they give you three. So for the letter, the letter is gonna be L that week. And they, they said, uh, so stitch uh, a whip with a lemon or a lime, that would work for the fruit. For the animal, you could stitch a lemur. For the L, you could stitch uh, on ocean things, little mermaid. So you can get more, like, even if you're just doing a mermaid, you can call it the little mermaid. Right. So that's what it's, uh, that's what that one's about. And so again, I to get it all on one whip. They could be three different whips. So. Or five, because during, during the game, it's actually going to be five a week. Okay. So that's, that's 1,250 stitches a week. You'd be getting some banking. Unless you don't have anything and you stitch one full coverage, there's always that. And you could do the penalty stitches and really bang it out 2,500 a week. So it feels Why like do that and get George done? And there you, you go. never have to stitch on the item for semi saying. It's always just it has to be in the whip. Because sometimes that's a question. And be inventive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just be inventive with it. It sounds like I, I joined up for that one because I don't join everyone. That's another thing with uh, semi saying. You don't have to join everyone. And I and I don't. There's a lot I don't even bother with. I, I started with some of the um, alphabet soup ones and I I did some and then I didn't do some and I've, you know, whatever. So right. they're, they're not real particular with that. The next one that's starting on November 4th is called Connect Four. Uh, the goal is to connect four different whips with four different designers. The catch, all four must be connected with the same theme. So say you take a theme, Pretty Ladies. You're gonna do one Mira, one Joan Elliott, one Nora Corbett and one Lenarte. Is it Lenart or Lenarte? I always called it Lenarte. Anyway, so I see where they went, Mirabilia and Nora, Nora Corbett. Although that's the same designer, mm -hmm. it's under two different brand names because Nora now published his own and Mirabilia is through Witchell. Right. I might have to do it that way, by the way. I don't even know. <laughs> I have to steal their idea. No new starts, by the way. It says choose whips, no new starts. So you have time now to get it started. So it's actually a whip. Yeah. Um, that there's two versions of this, it says. Um, the semi-sane version, 500. Uh, sorry, it just, it uh, refreshed on me. Semi-sane version is the 500 stitches on each for a total of 2000 stitches. If you finish, you receive five regular entries. Also, you guys, this is all month. Uh, so that's not too bad of a challenge. Insane version is a thousand stitches on each. So total 4,000 and you'll get three grand prizes. But if you would like to continue and get extra entries and have finished the first set of Connect Four, you may continue doing sets using a different theme each time. And you get one regular one grand prize per set, depending on what you chose. So for example, one that I would do, is I tend to have a lot of whips with flowers. So I could use Leaves of Change because it's my tell and emblem. I can use, um, she's got flowers behind her. This is Garden Prelude by Mirabilia. I've got Shangri-La by Kesslins. It has a big flower on it. And then where'd the other one go? Oh, my tired trio from Plum Street has flowers. So that was, Pretty simple for all different designers. There you go. Yeah. Animals is another one. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, um, could it be like, cause I'm, I'm thinking of my scavenger hunt pieces and, and so could it be like lots of people? Because like George, there's a lot of people in the boat or lots of, um, you want to say crowds? Crowds, it could be. Well, I don't know. Because how would I do that? Because my villains pieces. Humans? 
humans, maybe, I don't know. Cause well, no, my two scavenger hunt pieces are uh, the two Christmas pieces. Oh, so George, George could tie into Christmas because they're crossing on Christmas Eve, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. And then I would just have to get one more Christmas piece. Like I don't have another Christmas piece anywhere. <laughs> yes, you do. You have your um, uh, advent calendar. Being sarcastic. There. I'm being sarcastic. Uh, you could do Disney. You could do a Disney. I also. could. I could do two of them actually. It would be fun. Kind you of could fun do, do a full, two different full. kinds. You could do Disney princesses, Disney animals. I know. I may toss out there. I think I'm going to do like a Christmas thing, George. My advent calendar, my first Christmas, and maybe a milkful ornament. I, I see a poll coming. We're going to have to decide for her, aren't we? Probably. <laughs> okay, and then what is what else do we have for semi seeing? Um, What's going on right written down. Oh, Alphabet Soup is, is starting, I think, this uh, the 21st, which is a couple of days ago it started so if you didn't start you still have time that's not a, that's a non-counted so it's the letter v so i have vader from stitch line and it had does it have to be the name of the pattern I, it's been a while like, or the name of the, the designer so i mean i have uh stitch line and you you could do the name of the designer gotcha. i guess vermilion would work right donna vermilion Champa. Do you have a V, Vicky? I do. We are. I'm bees. sitting here thinking. <laughs> I've got a lot of thoughts on here. I'm trying to figure out that Christmas thing. I do. My V, they are visiting someone. Is I'm that what it's to... named, though? They approved it. Oh, okay. Because it was an alphabet. And they oh, approved yeah, it. Oh, yeah. They did say if it's a whole for that one letter. But not if it's just the letter of A. Right. Yeah. So they they approved it because I went through and I was like, well, what is he doing? Oh, he's visiting. That's an unopened gift. So yeah, they approved it. So yep, it works. Slime ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still I'm still I'm still thinking back of that Connect Four. I don't know. It sounds like like what if you did boats? Uh, anything that's got a boat in it you could have four different ones like because i have i have uh sailing sailing from cricket collection i have uh pilgrims of plymouth it's got a boat in it i've got you know there's like there's a whole bunch of different things you can do honestly you can do pumpkins too i've got lots of different pa from patterns of different designers with pumpkins in them americana because Patriotic. pumpkins are you, pumpkins are really big right now. It's the fall, so think of how many whips, fall whips there are for pumpkins. Animals. Is they all four have to be by a different designer? Because I know, like yeah. all the pretty ladies I have are Nora and Mira. I don't have any outside of that, so that one wouldn't work for me personally. Whereas Ooh, they, I just started a new lady last night. Yeah, you got so many pretty ladies. I'm sure they're all by different designers. So, no. Nah. All right. Uh, that's the only ones I had because we'll go over there around the world another time, like next week. Yeah, next week. Hello. It'll actually be next month. Um, okay, so last week, or I want to say last week, it's been two or three weeks since I did a homework video, but my last homework video, we introduced a new group that we don't talk about very often, um, and it really did help them. She said they had a 40% increase and members what because of our video so um one of the things i said was i wanted suggestions on groups that we don't typically talk about but um kind of shouted out for anybody that might be interested and one of the comments we got was about the group dragon lore now none of us are in that group uh so we cannot comment on the ins and outs or how it works or anything like that however i do know that it is action-based that they have, um, it, it's not so much, it's not like Vicky's group where they give you a prompt and you're, you're trying to fit that. It's more of a um, stitch on whatever you want. You need so many stitches to earn an item, to make a thing, to use a thing in a competition. So um, it's, it, it, we're finding, we're seeing several groups like that come out of the word work here lately and Dragon Lord is just one of them. Um, I do know that they have, like their whole um, 
world kind of mapped out, which I find to be kind of interesting, but it is competitive, it's high speed. Um, so if, if that's something that you might be interested in, you can check it out, it's on Facebook, it's called Dragon Lore. I believe it's two words, not one, but I'm not sure. So that one was recommended to us, uh, so I wanted to shout it out this week. Um, but that's it for us. I hope y'all have a great week and we will see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Happy Bye. stitching. I was looking at dragon lore. Where's the stop button? I don't know. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Turned